here we are on box 13 and I'm starting with something very special. Here is a box set that actually comes in a little trunk and it is a Hilda Meloche set with four darling dolls and, and these are the wooden stand-ups and some clothes, a lot of uncut clothes. Some clothes are in these little rolls. So this is just a fantastic find. Oh, look how cute the little snowsuit is. Underneath, it's got stands and scissors. So that's special. And then we've got many more box sets. Here's a Snow White from 1938. Another, um, it's not, no, this isn't like a the heavy board. It comes with a little wooden stand. Maybe somebody made that. More Hilda Meloche sets. Three box sets. On the hard board. I love her cover design. This Gold flowers. And then here are several. Oh, my light's making a big ring on here. Those play sets. These do come with a nice backdrop or clothes, obviously. It's paper doll. And then doll and then here's a little backdrop so you can set it up and have a little country kitchen and here are a couple that have not been opened they're in their plastic still so let me move this here and get these out of the way this is really great. It's not a pop-up, but it's very interactive. It has rooms, it has furniture, it has dolls, it has clothes. It's from 1983. So let's check out these early 80s clothes. pieces to set up a bedroom and a kitchen. This is really fun. So let me set some more things here. Okay, so here's a, here are a few from Peck Aubrey. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, fairy tales, a couple more fairy tales, and Pat Capabri or Pet Gondre. This is, oh, this is an extravaganza. Oh my, oh my goodness. It, this is so elaborate. I think this is Danish. And there are little babies that come out of their beds. Some accessories and clothes in the pockets. This is amazing. Well, I've never seen this and I am mental for it. Love it. Oh, and there's even like little, little baby books. What's in the book? Anything? No, oh, just a little. But you know what? You could put your own pages in these little books. Oh, that's special. 
This is beautifully illustrated. Marilyn loved mouse things. Mouse artwork, storybooks, paper dolls, of course. Just charming. Crystal Collins Sterling, this is a Dover book, so just delightful. This is now out of print. It was done in 1986. Here's a Maloche cut set. Another little Maloche cut item. Something that fell out of someplace else. This is a reproduction of the Gone with the Wind that was done in 39. This was done by um, Turner, I think in 1990, yes. So. Okay, this ballet dolls was done by Laughing Elephant probably in the 90s, I think, early 2000s. But they went all out. They they did the card, heavy cardboard die cut dolls and then a packet of clothes. And of course it's in the triptych style. Oh, here's more Danish paper dolls. So these have pop-up rooms, the doll and clothes. We did an article on these in Paper Doll Review a few years ago. This is one Marilyn worked on after she'd been very ill, and this is the first article she got going on um, coming out of the rehab facility. And I went out to visit her at that time. And she did well for, I don't know, a year or so before things got crummy again. A couple of poo items. This one has Christopher Robin. Aww. They just make you happy looking at those, their little faces. This looks like Claudette Colbert from Maryland's set, a couple of cut sets. Here's something curious. This is a box. Who knows what was in here? I don't know. Portrait book. Beautiful. Mother Goose book. Some lovely, lovely illustrations. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Another cut set. Here's a little Red Riding Hood sticker. Great background scene from the woods. And here's all the stickers. And there we can put, put the wolf in to disguise as grandma. It's from Dover. One of the state sets. Here's one of Marilyn's from Contemporary Doll Collector. Aw, Baxter had a bad day. These little animals to insert into scenes. And oh, look, they get to ride the school bus. Go to school. This is really cute. This would be so much fun to play with. And there's some clothes. Wow. And even a storage trunk. This is uh, a shack and reproduction book from the Victorian era.
good timing with Christmas around the corner. This is a, a book from Texas Tech University Press. They did a series of three of these books on Girl Scout costumes. Um, this is from 1996, and they are all long out of print, but there's a lot of historic information here and fashion notes um, on the back of every costume. So it's great to have these on hand. If you were in the Girl Scouts, this would be a good collector's item. And here is, oh, here's this must be a stay on outfit. So this, it's like, kind of like Velcro. And that, that kind of stays on when you press it on there. Um, this is all kind of crumbly and cut. <laughs> oh, I love how it looks on the back. <laughs> anyway, that's the last item in box 13.